quarter of the game do you eat this in? I would wait till halftime. You know why? You don't fall asleep. <laughs> <laughs> Today's episode is sponsored by Captain Morgan Original Spiced Rum. Captain Morgan invites fans 21 and up to follow the captain to unlock spiced up game day experiences and prizes all season long. All season long, Captain Morgan will be dropping clues that unlock hundreds of prizes, whether it's in a bar, or on your phone, fans can find hidden clues or QR codes leading to the followthecaptain.com for their chance to score an epic prize. If you're 21 and up, head to followthecaptain.com or follow the captain at Captain Morgan USA on Instagram to find clues that unlock the adventure. I love to riff with Captain Morgan's. My life is all about riffing, nothing's planned. So I have a bunch of amazing ingredients that I always have on hand. Huge, thick pieces of mortadella, some fresh mozzarella, some sun-dried red peppers, some hot peppers, some potato sticks, chili crisp, mayo, of course, some beautiful rolls with the seeds, some chips. I'm gonna fry this mortadella and make a sandwich. All these ingredients here are gonna be on this sandwich, slathered one way or another. Oh, I didn't even see the pineapple. Let me break that down real quick. The pineapple is always the secret ingredient for me. I put pineapple on anything. What cocktail are you making with the sandwich? Strawberry Rita. Strawberry Rita, the Captain Rita. What's it called again? Strawberry Rum Rita. Making a strawberry rum Rita. Those are the slices I need. Now I see. Seeing is believing. Let me get this mortadella fried into this oil. Don't be shy, mortadella. I'm gonna put two just to crowd it. Just cause you know, frying things crowded is the best. You leave that mortadella in this oil until it essentially becomes this crispy, gorgeous thing. It's gonna change right in front of our eyes. Got some beautiful, fresh mozzarella. Cut some of that up, get that ready to go. I'm gonna get these rolls down. I mean, we're frying an extra virgin olive oil, so what the hell? Why wouldn't I? And it's infused with mortadella. I wash my hands a lot and I always grab that many paper towels, even though I'm only using the top amount. That's not nice. So once you've realized you did that, go back, straighten them out and put them here. So you have multiple uses, because I didn't realize it until I looked at it. That's not nice to waste. Are you becoming more conscious of detail when you get older? Yeah, I'm just conscious about a lot more things, period. I'm just conscious. All kinds of techniques come out. Whatever could be used to push things down to get more of a crunch surface. You use it. I'm really transforming this mortadella into something special. It's being morphed. There's anamorph going on. This is a labor of love. You have to start this at 6 a.m. If you want to make kickoff, 6 a.m. You know what I mean? Pretty intense, huh? That's what I want. At least I got some color. I don't know. People are scared of that color. I like that. I like a little bit of brown and a little burnt. All right, now we're moving. Now we're rocking and a rolling. A little bit of mayo on the bottom. Mayor on top. That beautiful sun-dried pepper situation on the bottom. Nice layer. Fried mortadelle. Some more of that stuff on top. A little bit of chili crunch. I love to mix condiments with the spoon. You get a little essence from the last thing that was there, you know? We had this little chopped salad. Now how much a piece of fried mortadella loves some good vinegar peppers? It's like a love language. It's ridiculous, I know. You know what? I'm putting the cheese on the bottom just so it gets a little bit of that residual heat. It's your sandwich, remember that. You have to manhandle the pineapple to get it where you need it to go, you do so. Potato sticks, and now we have a beautiful fried mortadella sandwich, fit for anybody looking to party. Let's try that, see how it is. I hope it's good. I'm gonna make a nicer one right now. It's crazy? Yeah, it's actually very, very good. All right, good. It's a big sandwich. And the second fry on that is gonna look crazy. Look at that piece. You could also just break them off like that and snack. Cutting it like that and frying it and being able to pull each piece apart and yeah. dunk it into something. It's like a blooming mortadella. Bl blooming mortadella, bro. That's exactly what that is. A little pickled mayo. 
some more of that sweet pep, a little bit of that jus. This is perfect for a fall game day because it's sustainable. <laughs> there's always more to Della. No, there's sustenance, it's substance. It's gonna keep you warm. Keep you warm on one of those fall days where it gets a little brisk. Puts a little hair on your chest no matter who you are, whether you want it there or not, just putting it there. This is also another iteration, a deconstructed one. Give that mortadella a taste. That's family mortadella. <laughs> We're doing the strawberry rum reader now, one of my faves. Add a spiced rim to a highball glass. Get inventive, put all kinds of flavors in there. It's chili powder, paprika. You can put garlic, you can do whatever you want. Get inventive. Strawberry in the shaker, muddled. Muddling is a technique in which you really want to extract all the goodness and the soul from that fruit. Sometimes you get a casualty. Ice in the shaker. One and a half ounces of, of course, the Captain Morgan original spiced rum. Oh, excuse me. You don't want me making your drinks, or maybe you do. We got the lime juice here. Three quarters of an ounce to sweeten it up. Some agave syrup, beautiful. Three quarters of an ounce. Jam it down. It's like the shake weight. Remember that? <laughs> 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two. See, see the frost I've built up? Beauty. Mmm. That's ridiculous, I'm not gonna lie. Whew. I would make this for, I don't know, for anyone. If you wanna just spice up your life and not have the same mold, you know? Game days are special. You only get 16 to 18 games. Tops, you get 20 games if you're a real, real lucky guy. So you have to treat each one with respect. This is the menu curated for game one. Thanks again to the fine people over at Captain Morgan Original Spiced Rum for sponsoring this episode. Follow the captain at Captain Morgan USA on Instagram and followthecaptain.com to find more clues that unlock the adventure. And please, drink responsibly.